Netflix is adding a bunch of awesome content in July 2019 and getting rid of a lot of great titles too. Here are our picks for the movies you have to stream one more time before they leave the service. In the mood for something swinging, shagadelic and downright groovy, Netflix subscribers have until July 1st to catch Mike Myers as a buck-toothed, babe-obsessed British spy Austin Powers in the first two films of his action comedy franchise. Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery centers on its titular spy as he wakes up in 1997 after spending 30 years on ice, following an assassination attempt by Dr. Evil. Also played by Mike Myers, Dr. Evil soon concocts a plan to hold a $100 billion ransom over the world. One hundred billion dollars! What comes next is a string of silly antics, evil henchmen, beautiful fembots, a Generation X son with serious daddy issues, a doomsday device, and plenty of James Bond gags. The Spy Who Shagged Me takes everything fans loved about the first film, then adds a clone, a time-traveling VW Beetle, a Scottish Guard, and a volcano lair into the mix. If laughter is what you're after, an Austin Powers double feature is just the thing for you. The dark fantasy drama from Academy Award-winning director Guillermo del Toro, Pan's Labyrinth made it into countless best-of-year lists when it opened to sweeping acclaim in 2006. In the 13 years since its release, the film has been regarded as one of the greatest movies of all time and the best of del Toro's illustrious career. Set in Spain in the summer of 1944, the film follows Ophelia, a young girl who discovers that she may be the living reincarnation of a royal whose father ruled the underworld. One evening, Ophelia follows an insect she believes to be a fairy into a labyrinth where she meets the Fawn, a being who tasks her with three missions she must complete in order to become immortal and live in the underworld as a princess. Pan's Labyrinth leaves Netflix at the end of June, so enter the maze and discover its magic before it's too late. If you have yet to see director Jonathan Demme's psychological horror film, July 1st is your last chance to do so on Netflix. The Silence of the Lambs, an adaptation of Thomas Harris's 1988 novel of the same name, follows ambitious young FBI trainee Clarice Starling as she builds a relationship with imprisoned cannibal serial killer Dr. Hannibal Lecter. She needs his advice to catch another insane serial killer, Buffalo Bill. Within the cold walls of the Baltimore State Hospital for the Criminally Insane, Clarice offers personal information to Hannibal in exchange for clues on the identity of Buffalo Bill and how she might apprehend him. One of the top-grossing movies movies of 1991, the winner of multiple Academy Awards, a critical and commercial success, and a film preserved in the National Film Registry, The Silence of the Lambs is a cinema classic and a linchpin of the thriller genre. Don't miss watching it from the comfort of your couch while you still can. There's no telling what Dr. Legda might do otherwise. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. If you're suffering from a serious case of Keanu Reeves fever, you'll want to watch the Matrix trilogy before Netflix clears the films from its content library. First, dig into 1999's The Matrix, featuring Reeves as computer programmer Thomas Anderson, who hides a double life as a hacker named Neo. When he meets Morpheus, Neo's reality is forever changed after he discovers that the reality he knows is completely fabricated. Neo realizes that he's been trapped in The Matrix, a system that prevents a false reality to its victims and feeds off their minds and bodies. Once your brain has been thoroughly blown by the Matrix, dive deeper into the stylish world with The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions. James Cameron's 1984 sci-fi flick The Terminator is essential viewing for anyone who loves cyborg assassins, Arnold Schwarzenegger, high-stakes time travel, and bombastic action sequences. It's also a required watch leading up to the premiere of November's Terminator Dark Fate. As if you don't know already, the film features Schwarzenegger as an android sent from the year 2029 to 1984 Los Angeles to kill Sarah Connor. She'll eventually become the mother to the man destined to save humankind from a sentient artificial intelligence system known as Skynet. Meanwhile, a human soldier from the future, Kyle Reese, risks everything to protect Sarah from being terminated. Whether you're reliving the action or witnessing it for the first time, catching the Terminator on Netflix before it leaves in July should be at the top of your to-do list, because it's going. Hasta la vista, baby. Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson star in Wedding Crashers as best buds and partners in crime who have perfected the art of crashing weddings and wooing women. In a hilarious montage, the film quickly chronicles the pair's most successful wedding season ever, then brings the audiences up to speed on their riskiest mission yet, sneaking into the wedding of a daughter of the US Secretary of the Treasury. Featuring more one-liners that we can quote here and an absolutely hysterical performance by Will Ferrell, Wedding Crashers is the epitome of R-rated mid-2000s comedies. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the best movies on Netflix are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.